What's up, my friends? How you do? Wait, why is this way over here? There we go. <laughs> that was random. What's up, my friends? How you doing? How you doing? It's the start of a new week. Start of a new weakness. Uh, and an inborn allergy to, let's say, walnuts. Congratulations. You are all now allergic to walnuts. But not the walnuts you think. Nuts that are stuck to the wall. All right. <laughs> all right. So that out of the way, now that I've given you all the proper gypsy curse, I'm going to go ahead and share the live stream link in the Discord. And we'll go from there. Bump, 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 bump. Bump, 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 but dump. Okay, that's good. Let's switch this up so we can see the chat properly. All right, what up? Jazz Stormtrooper, Ang, Millmaster, Zircon, Shelton, Gossett, uh, who else? Raze, Yamagoro, Felonius T. Bum, 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 bum. Juglum Waffle. Bob running. Picker, Gianna, some. There we go. I have successfully read all of the names like it's Romper Room. How are you guys doing? I need one of those mirrors. I, I see Billy. I see Jimmy. Take your fingers out of your butt. <laughs> <laughs> What up, Jojo? Also, tons of tons of membership action going on today. So many green names, probably because of all the membership gifting that has been done during these streams. Ah, how you guys doing? How is life treating you tonight? What Juglim? You missed you missed the Hatsune Miku. Did they launch that secret layer today? Is that Has it already been officially launched, that super drop? It has. Okay. Uh, yep, it sure has. Did that, was that just today? <laughs> the Hatsune Miku is gone. What's the Hatsune Miku Digital Sensation Bundle? Oh, it's both foil and non-foil in English and Japanese? So it's four copies. It's a full playset of ju I didn't even know they were doing that, man. Huh. Wow, yeah, everything with everything with Miku is gone. All of it. The English and Japanese foils all gone. Huh. And the Prince of Darkness, and Not a Wolf, and Julie Bell, and Assassin's Creed. A number of the Assassin's Creed. It just says limited stock. Oh, it says limited stock for all of them. They intentionally limited it, so that doesn't mean anything. That doesn't mean anything. What up, Keebler? How you doing? Juggling me forgot today was the 24th. Well, you know what? The first time, shame on wizards. The second time, shame on you. You get what you deserve. Have fun paying the scalpers too much. You could have set a little alarm on your phone. I know you can show up to things because you show up to these streams. So maybe you should spend less time juggling your nuts and spend more time clicking on the mouse. Huh? Huh? Shelton Super Chat says, All snacks for me tonight as I dropped my dinner on the floor and had to throw it away. What? Oh, you dropped your dinner and had to pitch it? Like, I'm old now. That's a travesty. When I was young, I'd be like, whatever. But for real, meals are the real deal. Also got your layer right as it dropped. Well, that's how you do it. Now, you're not like juggling. You're not going to have to pay three times the price on the secondary market. 
Kenzuki, how will you go on without your Hatsune Miku? Well, you know what? Near, far, wherever you are, you've still got me, buddy. You've still got me. Oh, your your money dick small, but Hatsune Miku do not mind. I'm used to tiny ones. See? <laughs> you still got me. All right, Shelton. Lord not bored. I got bad news for you too, Shelton. You're probably going to end up getting sacrificed in the cult. Because you, you're... Uh, your trait is that you get upset when other people get sacrificed. So... Keebler! Just got done with work. Now you're in the bed. From work to bed. There you go. There you go. Waffle, you gotta get up at 5 in the morning? Yikes. Well, we'll see you when the... When the um, what is it? When the spirits favor you with a more reasonable time frame to live within. Five in the morning, getting up? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Nope, nope, nope. I'd rather rub thumbtacks in my eyes. Jess, I'm psychic every day, and you should know that because you believe in stuff like that. I use my I use my chi powers to clean the, the fluff out from between my toes. Thompson Wells, good to see me tonight. It, it's good to have functioning eyeballs. Take a look at me. That's pretty sweet. And all my manly glory. <laughs> Stormtrooper, member for seven months. Seven months? Really? Yeah, didn't you... Didn't you, like... Um, isn't it like a combo of people gifting you memberships and then you getting your own right i feel like there's a way that i can look at that isn't there i don't know exactly how youtube does that actually so let's see let us see um yeah like you you're a you're a beefy hatchling right and people can't gift you that so i don't know I presume, I presume that some of those are gifted months, but I, I don't know. It won't actually tell me. It'll just tell me uh, how many people have recurring memberships, how many gifted memberships, that kind of stuff. So I can't see too specific. Uh, there's a combo. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Ah, mm -mm -mm. uh, Picker, you definitely need functioning eyeballs to read cardboard triangles. Your eyeballs ain't working right if you think they're triangles. If you think they're triangles. You changed Nick's too. Your name's the same, man. Your name is the same. Kenzuki says, you mean there's a way for me to buy my own membership? For a limited time, you can get your own membership without having to wait for it to rain from the sky. When is Grimm going to release that Bloomboro token set? I imagine that they're going to be releasing the token set in conjunction with or around roughly the time release of Bloomboro. So the Bloomboro pre-release is the official release in August and the pre-release in July. Hold on. Let's see here. Oh, good Lord. That's not how you spell pre-release. Uh, okay. Bloomboro pre-release is, okay. It is July 26th. So I'm guessing that they'll release the Beetle and Grimm's special edition Bloomboro crazy tokens with the little fish. They got, they had five, one, one fish too. They knew, they knew about gift and fish. So yeah, that'll be coming out probably beginning of August is my guess. That's my guess. Picker, your eyeballs didn't proof re, re, didn't proof ready your own words. Yeah, <laughs> eh, it's the internet. You just slap your hands all over your keyboard, spazzle whatever you want out the door. Who cares, right? There's a bunch of 
There's already a bunch of nonsense. There's people doing it all over the place. Nobody seems to care. There's no order. There's no structure. It's all insanity. Speaking of insanity, uh, just was watching with our with our dinner. We were watching Red Letter Media talking about that movie Showgirls. You guys remember that? Remember how disappointing that movie was? Man, everybody got AIDS and shit. That's like the only memorable thing from that movie. Yeah, my girl, the spell checker on your phone fights you harder than the one on your old phone. Yeah, some of them do feel pretty insistent, you know? It's like, no, I know it's up. It's like, you don't, though. Stop changing what I type and just put it through. It's so annoying to like, oh, I'm going to double space here so it adds a period to the end of the sentence. Let me just change that last word. No, don't. And then you back up, do it again, double space. I changed it again. No, 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 no. If I go back to a word that you've changed and change it back to what it was, you don't change it again. Who programmed this shit? I know what I want to say. Also, these stupid spell checkers and word suggesters aren't used to archaic turns of phrase. Like, they oh, the word sprightly. Don't underline sprightly, you fuck. I spelled it correctly. It's not my fault that you don't understand it's a word. I don't know how you don't understand it's a word because words don't take up much space digitally. So you should have all of the words. You don't get to underline that and tell me I'm wrong. You don't get to do that. I'm not okay with that. Drives me crazy. Drives me crazy. Some, it destroyed that one girl's career before it started. Oh yeah, the chick who played Jessie on Saved by the Bell. She wanted to like branch out. I ain't no little girl anymore. Well, bam, check these out. But then the movie sucked. It sucked so bad. That was, that was the attempt to try and make like NC-17 mainstream. And it's like, what do you got? What do you got other than that for NC-17? I don't feel like watching the bad Lieutenant Harvey Keitel whipping his fucking dong out. Uh. Picker, you were a teenager when it came out, so you mo muted the movie and watched for other reasons. It was a lot harder to see titties back in the day, bro. That's that is that is a reality. It was much harder to see jugs back in the day. So, if you went for that reason, rub ice on them. It was. <laughs> it was so. It was such a grody movie. <laughs> What up, every day? Words are weapons. All right, calm down. Calm down. <laughs> yeah, the spell checker is nonsense. And I guess people are just getting dumber. Oh, speaking of dumb... Somebody left a comment on my new video. Sometimes when people complain that I take too long to get to the point, I understand. Because I'm like, yeah, I did a lot of asides and whatever else. But this, like, why did it take you 15 minutes to get to the point? And it's like, bro, do you have brain damage? Because at the beginning of the video, I say three different things are going on. And then when I actually get into the video, I say there's four things we have to talk about. And then I talk about all four. It's not like the video was called, I'm going to talk about Jello," And then I told you about how fun it would be to suck my toes. Like, for real, do you have brain damage, you fucking mouth breather? You fucking clown-faced Magoo idiot. Right? Now that I've said that, I just realized that it's, it's been a while since I, since I talked about moron comments. So let me just go ahead and find that comment and remove it. Because that's the rule. When I talk about comments like that, people will find them and start talking to the idiot. And it's just like, no, it's not It's not a matter of dogpiling the dumb fuck. It's just like, bro, you're a moron. Like, for real. There's multiple things in the title. And wh what do you talk? get to the point? There's four points to this. Just like your fucking head has four points, you lumpy dumb fuck. <laughs> <laughs> pre-cell phone life was tough cell phones have made has made us stupid they've made us dumb brent the art of the boner comedy is dead eh, 
I mean, Porky's weren't that good. Why? Like you, like movies like that weren't that great. So, who cares about watching an entire movie to see a couple of set of jugs when you can just go to Twitter and someone will be like, "Oh, here's my opinion on bread," and then people will respond to it. Are you bready for these? I'm a gross slut for bread, and it's just like, get out of here, whores. They're like, I'm the top one percent of OnlyFans. Oh wow. And how many tens of thousands of people is that? Shut up and buy pictures of my butthole for $2. Right now I'm having a deal. You can stare into my anus for four minutes for $7.50. <laughs> you can stare into the abyss. <laughs> Brent says, how dare you take the time to talk about everything you said you were going to talk about. Unsubscribe! It seems like people don't yell unsub as much as they used to. Or I'm just not seeing it as much. Either way. Quadra Pinhead. That's right, Bill Master. Kanziki, why would people do that? I avoid them people. Avoid the idiots. Avoid the idiots. Jess, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. It is a spectrum of idiocy where it's just like, I'm not going to respond to you. I'm not going to respond to your comments. I'm going to look at it and go, you're in, like, I saw that comment right before the stream, which is why it's like, uh, hello, the fuck? It's in my head. If that was in person, I'd be like, bro, just so you know, you're a fucking moron. For real. Did you really just ask me something that fucking stupid? Right? Mill Master, solitude is the cure for people, but people is the cure for solitude. Bum, 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 bum. But what's the cure for hatcherism? I've got a bad case of it. <laughs> it does seem to have gone out of style. Not sure if it's because people realized it didn't have power because the shift has finally happened. Where the comments are regular viewer, but not some. I have no idea. I don't, it's... It's a weird, it's a weird sort of self-centered, like, oh, I'm getting at you by unsubscribing. And it's like, okay, bro, cool, man. Uh, I'm going to cry into my wife's titties over it tonight, for real, for real. So I get it. From hell's heart, you stab at me. And I feel the wounds deeply. What was your name again? Jimmy Jam Ding Dong? Okay, yeah, bro. We've had a lot of meaningful conversations. So I will miss your stupid fucking comments. <laughs> Ah, whatevs, man. Whatevs. People people get upset about everything on the internet, right? Like, they can go through their normal everyday life and function. But once they get online... <laughs> every day, is, have other people been constantly unsubscribed from YouTube channels they know they're subscribed to? Yeah, it happens all the time, man. It happens, like... Like in an automated fashion. And I don't know why, but YouTube totally does unsubscribe people from all of my channels who want to be subscribed to them. And lots of other channels too. I have no clue. There was that one channel about like van life where a ton of people got subscribed by YouTube. Like they wanted, they covertly created a big channel by subscribing people to it. Because the comments were full of people going, I'm not subscribed to this channel. Why is it saying I'm subscribed to this channel? YouTube wanted to see if they could get away with that. Hey, if people aren't paying attention, we can just like subscribe them over here. So who knows why they do what they do? It's pretty random. It's pretty random. Brent, it totally could have happened on channels that you're not watching anymore so you don't notice. I don't think that YouTube is unsubscribing people for nefarious reasons. I think it's either an error or they're literally just like, if you haven't watched this video, like this channel in a certain amount of time, we're just going to unsubscribe you. I know there was a point where just uploading videos, you put out a video or start a live stream and you'd automatically lose a chunk of subscribers. There was a while where like every video I put out instantly, they'd be like 50, 60, 70 subscribers just, and it's like the video has been out for 30 seconds. That's not enough time for 70 people to have been notified, look at it and go, no, I hate this. I'm out of here. So every once in a while, you got to double check to make sure that you're subscribed to the channels that you want to be. Because it is just 
a gigantic computer system with a million tentacles flailing and slapping them around. I am your techno god, right? Like <laughs> that's the vibe. That's the world we're living in. Every day it ain't it's not an iPhone thing, bro. It's a YouTube thing. It'll happen regardless of whether you're on a phone, whether you're on a desktop or whatever. But yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. Obviously, when it comes to trying to run YouTube, there's a million things that they're trying to do. And it's not all working the way that they want it to. But mostly it's pretty good, right? I mean, you can watch all the stuff you want for free. You can go and hang out in live streams and chat with people. It's all, everything's on demand. Like, honestly, YouTube is pretty amazing overall. It ain't perfect. It's definitely got some flaws. But I like it. I remember when I used to think it was just for listening to music. Now I know it's for listening to music and people to complain about things. <laughs> or if you need to know how to do some random task you can find videos showing you how to do that too walkthroughs of all kinds of stuff learn to play our game learn how to nail a birdhouse to your wall inside learn how to attract birds to your inside birdhouse learn how to catch and clean birds that have been lured into your inside birdhouse Gianna you've been unsubscribed twice from this channel without your consent well you made it back that's what matters Every once in a blue moon, uh, multiple people, like people get unsubscribed in a chunk. And then I remember to mention in a video. And it's funny how people will go, that's not happening. Stop saying it. You're just trying to get people to subscribe. And it's like, if I was just trying to get people to subscribe, I could just say in every video, hey, subscribe. Make sure you're subscribed. I could do that little click thing that shows up. Like, you're a fucking moron if you think that's why I'm doing it. I'm doing it because multiple people have said to me, hey, I got unsubscribed. And each time I mention it, I go, yo, people have been telling me they got unsubscribed. So if you want to be subscribed, double check that you are. That certainly sounds like I'm running a fucking scam to get more people to subscribe. It's like, bro, you're a fucking mouth breathing idiot, right? Millmaster, I'm gonna be shadow banned. Well, you know what? At least it's cool in the shadows. At least it's cool in the shadows. Every day you used to watch pirated shows and movies on it? See, I don't think I was... I wasn't using YouTube in any real capacity at the time. That was okay, right? So I don't remember any of that. For me, it was always just like, Yo, I want to listen to this song. They'll have it on YouTube. And then they'll have the... Um, the actual video for it too. And I'd be like, all right, I can watch Paul Abdul take steps backwards with a cat. A cat who smokes cigarettes. <laughs> Gianna, maybe they think of selling counterfeit magic spoons. Yo, those ice cream scoops aren't counterfeit. They're the real deal. Those are bona fide, genuine, Modern Horizons 3 collector box ice cream scoops. <laughs> Picker! YouTube's great because you get news, movies, music, and magic info for free. You drive a truck 200 miles a day. If not for your headset and YouTube, you'd go crazy. You're not the only trucker who comes and hangs out, man. Jess, that's true. You can, you can rent a ton of stuff on YouTube as well. And YouTube at least feels like a platform that's going to be around for a long time. Some of the some of the services that show up and like you can buy this and this and it's like yeah but how long until you're gone I don't get to like download an actual copy of it to my computer or anything so and apparently you can just revoke my license to my shows and movies whenever you want until they find a better way of doing all that I'm leery of the whole thing right like you need a decent way to be able to transfer ownership of that kind of stuff or at least retain ownership of it this whole you have a digital license and we can just change the shows and do whatever it's like i'm not interested in paying you for something that you get to keep and i pretend that i own 
and that also you can just remove whenever you want or go, well, actually, I know you bought this movie, but um, society has changed. And so we're changing, we're removing parts of the movie and changing other parts of the movie. And it's like, no, 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 I'm not okay with that. I'm not okay with that. Does anyone cash in digital movie codes? What do you mean? What do you mean? Like the ones that like if you buy a disc, you get a digital copy as well? Yeah, Magoro, you got shelves and shelves of DVDs and Blu-rays. That's nice. It's cool having the actual physical media. I remember once upon a time, I'd be like, it'd be cool if everything was digital so you wouldn't have to deal with the hassle of all the discs. But after seeing how digital's been handled... I'm kind of like, mm, mm, mm. day, I don't think I've ever gotten a movie that came with a digital movie code. Uh, I probably missed that. I probably missed that time frame when they started doing that. So I don't know. I mean, if I had the physical movie, I probably wouldn't bother to use the digital code. I probably wouldn't even think of it, you know? Unless I was getting rid of the movie and I was like, well, I'll just keep the digital one. I don't know. Jess, you have 88 DVDs and one Blu-ray. <laughs> just one. A singular Blu-ray. Sometimes the digital codes inside were hard to find. Well, maybe I did. Maybe I did get movies that had digital codes. I just didn't notice because they were printed on the back of the insert booklet or something right yeah my girl plug it in it says either invalid or expired yeah they give you it's a it's weird to give you a limited time frame on that but i guess they don't want people trying to sue them 20 years later because they can't redeem for a movie there you go some's used a few movie codes you got somebody what up al every day you inherited a bunch from your uncle at least with like DVDs and Blu-rays and stuff, there's still a bunch of things that actually play discs in them, so they're not useless. Like VHS tapes now, unless you kept a VCR, like what the hell good is VHS? It's so archaic. You gave away your Blu-ray player, you gave away your Blu-ray DVD player because it had no remote. So your friend bought a remote and you get, oh, okay. So your friend had a remote and you gave her the DVD player to go with it so she could watch a movie. Fair enough. If it's no good to you. Adam, you still have a VCR? Well, I bet you're not alone. I bet there's, I bet there's a number of people who have them, but if you're not somebody who hung on to it, you know what I miss about the, the VCRs, I feel like were the end of the whack it era where when your technology's not working, you could just be like, Pfft. right? Like VCRs were so sturdy, you could literally just go Pfft. pound them and they would work. Just whack, right? You try that with a DVD player, the case cracks, the thing's ruined, you know? <laughs> like that was it. You used to be able to smack your TVs, you used to be able to punch your VCRs, and now yeah, all the technology has become it's all they're all pussies they can't take a single hit uh shane four four k blu-rays usually have the codes all right fandango at home isn't fandango a way you used to buy movie tickets online and overpay kansaki you have a jabba the hut lego set worth money i doubt it if you didn't know it's Jabba the Hutt? So, there, that's not a thing. If you were going to go and... That's bootleg. Yo, check it out. It's an authentic Jabba. <laughs> Jabba. And it comes with the larva slave girl outfit. <laughs> Just so you can watch original Star Wars. You can, wa you can watch that online. Just so you know. Just so you know. 
Mill Master, you want to rip all your DVD 4Ks to a media server? That sounds like a lot of work. Uh, Jess, you have the X-Men VHS, but no player for that either. Same boat. I ain't got no VHS player. VHS DVD combo machines? Al, I don't think I've ever seen something like that. Percussive maintenance. That's it, Jess. That's it. Everyday blow into the nest cartridge. No! No! You get the contacts. Moisture is bad for the contacts. It works in the short term but causes problems in the long term. Guess it didn't matter. It never stopped me from using any of the games. So the long term was irrelevant. You take your Nintendo game out, blow into it, put it back in, and then stick the other game on top to keep it down because the little click spring or whatever would break. Noob, 15 second skip protection. I remember skip protection. That was legit. That was legit. Millmaster, you watch George of the Jungle on VHS? Is that movie actually entertaining though? I don't know if I've seen it. Jog them 115,000 movies. That's so many. I remember my dad, he doesn't do this anymore, but he used to like, because he'd be on the boats for like 10 months out of the year, he had no access to like TV and movies. So for the time he was off, he would constantly just be playing movies off of movie channels and burning them to DVDs. And so he had these huge spindles of all these burnt movies. Like, just big stacks of them. I remember it was awesome. When he was done watching them, they would just essentially become garbage to him because he's like, I'm not going to go back and watch any of these. So if you want, just take the spindle. So I would take like two huge spindles and just be like, bro. But like so many of the movies sucked. Mostly garbage. Mostly garbage. The digital version of movies they stream aren't as good quality due to the compression. Wait. So when you use the digital codes, it's so you can stream them? You don't download a, a copy? Zircon, no one would pay the cost to make sturdier shit. Well, the reality is you don't need to be hitting your VCRs. You don't, right? Like, so them going, we're going to build devices that are meant to function and not meant to be struck. That makes sense to me. That makes sense to me. Al, I remember the big tube TVs, 100%. Gianna, someone wrote Fandango in your in a dumb vote and Commander got all pissy thinking it was something perverted when it's just a movie ordering system. <laughs> Some you watch George of the Jungle a bunch when you were younger. I'm wondering if it's enjoyable for adults to watch. Jess, if all you did was work, sleep, and watch movies, you could watch every movie within 37 years? Press X to doubt pretty hard. If you work eight hours a day and sleep eight hours a day, and you spent the other eight hours watching movies, and movies were only a fucking hour and a half each, Right? I guess with bathroom breaks and whatever. So two movies is three hours. Four movies is six hours. You could get five movies in a day. Five movies in a day, bro. 365 days a year. So what did I just say? Five movies? Did I just say five movies? Is it five? Three, yeah, five. Five movies a day, right? 365 days. So you got 1,500 plus the fucking 325. So that's less than 2,000 movies a year, bro. That's less than... That, 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 that is not going to come close. That is not going to come close. There's no way. There's no way. You realize there's more movies than just fucking English movies, right, dude? You realize there's tons of countries in the world with their own movies and shit. But that wouldn't even be enough just to watch all the North American movies. Zero fucking chance. Like, mathematically, no. Doom Blades membership message says, Just watched The Man in the Suit and it's pretty creepy. It's about if the guy who acted in the original Gojira suit? What's that supposed to be? God, Is that Godzilla? Can't you just fucking say Godzilla? 
Why you gotta get all weird with it? What the hell's Gojira? What the hell is that? So it's a guy, if a guy who acted in a in the original Godzilla became the Godzilla suit, so other people climb inside him? <laughs> Mill Massey, you, you load your movie codes on... Oh, just not for watching at home when you're at somebody else's place. That makes sense, actually. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's the actual name? Well, listen. Listen. I'm an ignorant man from North America. I know it is Godzilla. For all I know, Gojira could be some kind of fucking kiwi fruit or something. So he's just talking about wearing a fruit suit. And I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, Magaro, even if you binge on the weekend, even if you binge on the weekend, that's still only going to add the eight hours that you would have been working into the mix, right? So you're still like, what, you can get 10 movies in that day? So that map doesn't work. But I mean, it would be fun. It would be fun on a quest to be on a quest to see every film once upon a time maybe maybe but we've got way too many movies now right way too many movies speaking of movies have you guys seen broken arrow we watched broken arrow last night that movie is entertaining but it has some really dumb moments like when christian slater's character puts a $20 bill under this under a rock and it's like you won this round and it's like um you just gave 20 bucks to the earth dude like it would make way more sense if you gave him $20 when you ran into him this makes mm, like no sense or like there's a part where he's going to put his gun down because somebody else has got the jump on him drop your weapon or whatever so he goes to put the gun down and as he's going to put the gun down, the chick beside him has a gun tucked into her back belt or whatever. So he grabs that out and drops low and shoots the guy. And it's like, you're already holding a gun and you're going to the ground. So why didn't you just use the one you were already holding? The scene didn't really turn out the way you wanted it to. <laughs> you know, like there's some really dumb moments in the movie where you just go, uh, huh? What? What? It's like John Travolta has to press multiple buttons on his little control to stop the nuke from going off. But then later you can just press the cancel button. And like Christian Slater waits till the last most dramatic moment to stop the nuke when he's leaping out. But it's just like, you should have pressed it first, man. You, sh you, sh you should have pressed this first. Like what you're doing is stupid. What you're doing is stupid. Doomblade, his body melted and morphed inside the suit and became the suit. Like the suit became his skin and his body just broke and morphed inside the suit to fit into it. Yeah, that does sound pretty horrific. I'll agree with that. What if we go full clockwork orange? How many can you get in a year? What, 24, 24 hours a day? You're going to be able to get in like 12 movies, right? Because some of them are going to be longer too, right? So you just say... Two hours per 24-hour block, you're going to get 12 in, 12 in a day. So with that, you'd be able to get like, what, like um, 3,650 plus another 700 roughly? So like, that's still only going to be like a little over 4,000 movies a year. Ew, Juggalum, of course hot mustard Doritos aren't good. What would make you think they would be, bro? That's awful. That's awful. Thompson! Wait, this is your 10th Super Chat on this channel already? Wow. All right. All right. I didn't realize, man. It's crazy that YouTube gives the little, the little indicators like that. 
Guess time does fly. Makes me feel old. <laughs> I guess I should read the super chat. I saw this horror one. I saw a horror one recently called I Saw the TV Glow, which was quite creepy about a haunted TV show with demons in a parallel dimension. It was really good overall, though. All right. You know what? I Saw the TV Glow is like a half decently innocuous title. It doesn't have that much menace to it. But haunt a haunted TV show. Is that an English movie or is that a foreign film? There's some interesting foreign films out there. All right, buddy, you're Lord of the Board. You actually, like, the idea of a haunted TV show as opposed to, like, a haunted, uh, like, television set specifically? Now I'm actually going to look it up. Oh, it's a 2024 film, so it's new. Uh, oh, it's got that effeminate dude who played the crappy mage in the Dungeons and Dragons movie. That guy, I feel like, I feel like he is like an even weaker male than the Michael Sarah. And um, yeah, I mean, I guess he's just kind of the poster boy of low T in the current era. Uh, the film follows two troubled young friends whose connection to their favorite TV show causes them to question their reality and identities. All right. All right. Oh, I'm being a bad boy tonight. I've got myself some some root beer. It's hard to it's hard to it's hard to give up the sweet nectar, son. <sighs> Juggling tastes like mustard and horseradish. Ew, gross. Oh, Thompson, it's English. Yep, it definitely is English. Al, there's a French film called Obsession that Hitchcock took the plot from for Vertigo. Well, I'm glad that there are people out there who are willing to steal from other languages and make their own inspired by versions. That's how we got the 12 Monkey movie. The The 12 Monkeys movie is based on some like French art film or something like that where somebody gets sent through time. And I know that because I randomly saw it. It might have even been in school. Juggling the Stanley Cup is over? I'll have to take your word for it. I have zero interest in sports. In your personal opinion, you think the most underrated kind of horror is analog horror? The man in the suit's analog horror. I don't know what you mean by that. Like, what's analog horror? Is that just stuff that occurs in the real world? Versus, like, something trapped in the machine? Depending on the power level that the machine has over you and the scope of it, you know, but then that might, I don't know. I don't know. One of the monsters in it reminds you of the moon from Majora's Mask. I know the moon you're talking about. I never played Majora's Mask. I never played that one. For some reason, just overall, my brain just went, I don't know, I like playing Zelda games that are about running around and fighting and stuff and this one seems like it's going to be about putting on masks or something i don't care like the the advertising for it didn't get get to me and i mean i was a kid so i really just got to play whatever games my dad got what up pierce how you doing al edge of tomorrow was a ripoff of all you need is kill all you need is kill is that a is that a foreign film Man, I love movies. Wait. All you need is kill. It's a Japanese science fiction novel. Oh, is there a, is there a movie? Or is it just a show? Edge of, yeah, because the edge of tomorrow or whatever is awesome. Uh, 
Yeah, I can see people comparing it, but it looks like it's not a movie. It's just, uh, it's just books. Jess, your perception can travel into your future self sometimes. Uh huh. I'm my future self from a second ago. Now I'm my future self from a second ago. Now I'm my future self from a second ago. Now I'm my future self from a second ago. Now I'm my future self from a second ago. Wow, amazing. Amazing. Analog horror is where you're told the story of the horror instead of watching a movie or TV show. It allows you to have a little theater of the mind with the information they give you. Oh, so it's like an audiobook, right? I uh, I will agree that, when, especially when it comes to horror, what you create in your mind tends to be better than what you're shown. That's why movies like It Follows got significantly worse when you see the demon do its killing and you go, that's lame, bro. This is an old lady in dirty diapers doing a crotch grind on a guy. Like, for real. For real. If you think this is terrifying, I'm just sorely disappointed. <laughs> Running! Yeah, Edge of, The Edge of Tomorrow with Tom Cruise in it. It was a good movie. That's a fun concept. I really liked it. I really liked it. What You Wish For is also really good. It's more of a thriller. I like thrillers more than like horror. Horror most of the time falls flat for me. I'm a very big believer in don't show your monster, at least not right away, because people's imaginations will terrify them more. Why do you think the Blair Witch Project worked to freak out as many people as it did? That movie didn't scare me at all when I watched it, but... When I was high later in the woods, I was just like, I am very uneasy right now. <laughs> Al, the horror that scares you is based on humanity and its cruelty. I mean, what people can do to each other is pretty wild. The supernatural, though, something that you like with humans, there's usually something you can do back with the supernatural. Like, I don't, I don't know if I've ever seen it. Why can't I think of the movie right now? Is it The Ring or whatever? Wait, is it called The Ring because the telephone rings? Is that what it is? Is that literally what it is? You watch the movie, you get a phone call, and then you die in seven days? I swear to God, I thought that movie was, was called The Ring because of a, like, a ring you wear. It just like clicked into my head now. I don't think I've ever watched that movie. It also made me think of the horror movie where the hand comes out of the back of What's-Her-Face's head. But it's actually not that scary. What is her name? Sarah Michelle Geller or something like that? Was she the TV Buffy? It's like an audiobook with obscure images and creepy music atmosphere. Cool. I can get down with that. I I can get down with that. Oh, Jess, you're showing your scholarly leanings, watching videos of dogs banging chickens. Good God. It's the ring from the sun shining through the well in the video? What? The ring viewed on the television videotape. So it's not based off the phone ring? It's based off the ring of sun on a well? That sounds stupid. Uh. Can you call a movie a ripoff if the Japanese author has a writing credit on it? No. If somebody... How can it be a ripoff? You can't rip off your own stuff. Right? No. No, that's not a ripoff then. Running, you're making guesses, but you haven't seen it either. Well, there you go. Just fumbling in the dark. I think maybe this. Zircon, yep, that was it. The Grudge. I think it was called Juon in, uh, was it Japanese originally? But I saw the English version, The Grudge, 
at least part of it, and that movie was very underwhelming. Very underwhelming. But then, as I've said multiple times, I don't really go looking for horror movies, and a lot of them just reinforce that by being lame, bro. I'm just like, this. there's nothing here. This sucks. It's not doing anything for me. I like to feel things when I'm watching movies, and most of the time when I'm watching horror movies, they're just boring. Like, I can't get into Jason. I can't get into Michael Myers. Freddy. Freddy is way more interesting because Freddy Krueger is essentially like a mythical being. He's like a fucking dream lord that destroys people in their dreams. He can literally manifest reality through people's dreams that's crazy that's crazy like that is some pretty freaky stuff and the freddy movies are just hilarious where he's running around calling everybody bitch you know like <laughs> that's just funny but like a guy who will just keep walking after you i'm like so he's like a zombie but not a zombie no you don't understand he'll just like keep a steady pace coming after you yeah like a zombie no, shut up! Not like a zombie, because he goes hack at you. Okay. Right? Like, that's how it feels. The Witches? Is that that movie with Bette Midler? Well, if that's your kind of thing, man. Yeah, who knows? So yeah, Broken Arrow was fun. It's a fun movie. I like I like the older movies now because they just seem like they want to entertain you and they're not all just like movie you've seen part fifteen where it's just like, okay. All right, now. The more rooted in reality, the realer it seems. It's boring, though. It's boring. Like a dude just going and hacking people up with axes and stuff. That's fucking dull. It's dull. It's not exciting. Hell, it's, that shit just happens in the fucking real world. I... Uh, I want an experience. I want something different. Not just stabby McStab 14. This time he stabs him in the left butt cheek. Oh, dog, I remember in the last one he stuck him in the right cheek. Now he's left hamming it? Wah! You know what I mean? Doomblade, oh, they show an image of what they expected to find in the man who's been turned into a suit and then an image of what they did find. All right, all right. Zircon, you like bad horror that's really comedy? I can understand that. I can get down with some of that. The Witches has Angelica Houston, who was Morticia in the Adams Family. Uh, okay. Apparently, the witches. Let's see here. It's a family movie. Oh, this movie! Where they turn Buddy into a mouse. This movie's not scary. <laughs> I've seen it. I've seen it. I've definitely seen that. Millmaster, one thing that made Broken Arrow cool was the weird music they used. I don't even know what you're referencing, honestly. I don't remember any weird music. So I guess it didn't, like, stand out and feel jarring. Troy Barbarian is a kind of new age monster slasher thing. All right. The Terrifier series is good. It does, that name does not instill faith. The Terrifier. I love that, like, people can tell you about something and then you can just look at, like, it instantly online. 
Oh, this looks like something Carly might enjoy. I don't know. Carly likes horror. I mostly don't. Like, I said this, I think it was even just last night. It Follows really surprised me because I'm like, yo, I am into this horror movie. But that's it. Like, and it fell off at a certain point. It went from awesome to, oh, all right. But it doesn't change the fact that at the beginning, they genuinely had me. I liked it. There's something very unsettling about an unstoppable force that's coming after you. You can't reason with it. You can't talk to it. But it's not coming at you at some pace where, like, oh, it's so fast. There's no way to get away. You can get away. You can get away essentially endlessly. But it's going to wear your mind down. It's relentless and non-stopping. It's moving very slow, but while you sleep, it's still moving. I mean, it doesn't feel like it'd be that hard to defeat. You could just go and live in like an underground bunker or something. Like, it's very stoppable in some ways. And I don't know. I don't know. I feel like if you just, I feel like if you had that and you just went to the government and proved it was a real thing, they would catch it in like a, in an iron box. Do you know what I mean? Like, or something like that. I feel like if that demon was real, you could demonstrate that to actual government officials who would then go, we're going to capture and study this thing, right? <laughs> like, Millmaster Serpent and the Rainbow. Did I already look that up? It sounds like a kid's movie. Serpent and the Rainbow. Horror fantasy from 1988. Oh, that's old. In the legends of voodoo, the serpent is a symbol of earth and the rainbow is a symbol of heaven. Between the two, all creatures must live and die. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, it's based on an, a book, isn't it? An anthropologist goes to Haiti after hearing rumors about a drug used by black magic practitioners to turn people into zombies. Oh, that's funky. That, that sounds pretty funky, actually. I'm going to forget it if I don't write it down. <laughs> Gianna's just randomly going, Daffy Duck, Fantastic Island's a cartoon. Not scary, but I have nostalgia for it. <laughs> Bo Falcon, no, no. Listen, you're right that the only way to see it was to get, get the demon STD. But you don't have to sleep around to prove it exists. Do you remember the scene where she's sitting in the chair and it comes up behind her and lifts up her hair and then people can see that it's lifting her hair and then they run up and start physically fighting it and that blew my mind i'm like wait it's a physical force that other people can interact with they shoot it with a gun dude like you would not have to sleep with anybody to see it you can literally prove it exists it's like okay i'm gonna go into this house you guys watch the camera do you see how that rock just lifted up into the air and threw itself through the fucking window like and they'd be like oh Okay, uh, and then you come running out of that. Like, there's so many ways to prove it. Like, it literally should be visible when it's raining because the, it, it fucking occupies the space of a human body. It's a real shame that they blew it with that movie because there were some really cool moments. Like, the they had to do stupid stuff like, oh, it's me, let me in, I'm standing at the door. Oh, no, no, is it gonna be, is it gonna be the enemy? Oh, is it, is it the it follows demon? And they just keep trying the door without saying anything. And it's like, you wouldn't do that. Nobody would do that. If you think somebody you know is in the room and you're trying to get in, you'd be like, hey, dickhead, open the door. Open the door, dickhead. Come on. 
you, you like, but she waits so long to do that. So you can just be like, oh my God, is that the demon? Fuck you. You don't need to do that shit. But then they open the door and the chick comes in and right behind her is the demon. And the demon being in different forms is used to great effect here because they picked a really tall guy who flows into the room and feels like he's getting bigger and it gives it such an intimidating presence. That was an awesome moment. Troy, we actually watched that movie about the... We, we've seen Rubber with the killer tire. Uh, have you ever watched Children of Men? Yes, I have, but Carly hasn't, and we're going to see it. We're going to see it for sure. Bob Falcon, you know people are dumb and wouldn't believe it until they see it, especially the government. You got to go to, like, the high-level government stuff. I'm not talking you go down to your local fucking, hey, who's, who's our political dude in our city? Go talk to him. No, you would fucking contact, like, I like in state in the states is what's it called DARPA or whatever. You'd contact them and be like, "Hey, there's a crazy monster that genuinely exists, and I can prove it." Like something like that. You wouldn't just try and get random people to believe you. Although it wouldn't be that hard, bro. I'll give you ten bucks if I'm wrong. All you gotta do is hang on over here, and I'll show you that a fucking demon is real. Like if I could point to you and say, "Yo." Throw a beanbag right there, and you threw the beanbag, and it bounced off of nothing? Would that not blow your fucking mind if I said, yo, I'm going to give you this beanbag and tell you to throw it over here? If it bounces off, then you got to believe me. If it sails through, I'll give you 20 bucks. You can even hold the 20. Here, hold the 20 bucks. You only got to give it back if the beanbag bounces. Like, there's a fucking million ways to show that it's real. A million fucking ways. I'm just coming up with these off the top of my head, bro. You could definitely get other people involved. You could definitely prove it. Easy as hell, man. The Never Ending Story was a weird movie. It was weird, for sure. They would just make stuff up to deny it. I doubt it. Uh, like, bro, I'm a super skeptical dude. But, like... If you were just like pointing to random places and the beanbag was just like bouncing off it or you just like threw a bucket of white paint. Hold on. Watch this. I'm going to throw a bucket of white paint. And then all of a sudden there's this fucking drenched humanoid figure moving forwards. You know what I mean? Like for real. Just a bucket of paint. What? Motherfuckers covered in paint. Do you see it? Do you see it? The demon's real. Nobody will believe me. Well, that's because you're all too fucking stupid to think of the real, real obvious shit. Like, for real. Whoop. Bo Falcon SGI? Do you mean CGI? Like, we're talking about you and I are standing out together in real life. I'm not talking about recording it and showing it to somebody. I'm saying you and I are on the fucking street. And I'm telling you, bro, there's a fucking invisible demon chasing me. And I'm going to show you it's real. I'm going to throw a bucket of paint on it so you can see its fucking body. And you're going to go, that's CGI? What is it, nano paint? Like, I'm very cynical. It would convince me that something was up. I'd be like, uh... Invisibility cloaks aren't real, so... You think governments aren't going to be interested in the existence of fucking demons, you know? You're not going you're to turn to me and be like, that's CGI. Oh, other people who saw it, they wouldn't believe it at all. Like, if you record it and upload it, everybody would be like, it's fake. The only people who would believe it online are dummies like Jess. And it would be the one time in his life he was right. Because Jess literally believes whatever he fucking sees. You can put a fucking magnet in a bowl of water and have somebody drag that fucking bowl of water across the table and have an old guy at the end of the table going like this. And Jess will genuinely believe that that man is chi-pushing the bowl of water. You know how they do the whole magnet, magnet, and just drag things across tables, and that's been done in all kinds of things? 
Well, even even if it has the jerky motion because the bottom of the ball is wet and you can see it jerking, it's not a fluid motion. It's the motion of somebody doing it with magnets. He'll believe it. But only people as fucking brain damaged as him would believe seeing recordings of it. I wouldn't. If you showed me a recording of a guy throwing a bucket of paint on some and said that was proof of demons, I'm like, I can show you videos where I squeeze a demon out of my own asshole. Doesn't make it real. <laughs> you know? Jess, it's not real, bro. It's not real, you crackhead. There aren't people with cheap powers who can fire water around, man. It's not a thing. It's not a fucking thing. You're so gullible, dude. You are so fucking gullible. It's like, it's real, but only like three people can do it and only online and stuff. Like, for real, man. For real. It's ridiculous. So yeah, nobody online would believe you. You'd have to show them in person. And it probably would be somewhat of a challenge to convince the government, some kind of important government agency to listen to you. But, but, it wouldn't be impossible. It wouldn't be impossible. And you'd have a hell of an incentive trying to stay alive. If they can just capture that demon, then nobody else will, will get destroyed by it. Right? Kensuke, you believe in Jess's chi powers? Look, the only, the only power that Jess has is triggering me with his bullshit. Doomblade, you remember your mom telling you a story when she messed with the Ouija board and it caused a silverware in the kitchen in the house she was living in to stand straight on end? I'd be like, Mom, you're a fucking liar. You're a liar or somebody, like, are you saying you literally watched it levitate and rotate up? Because if you did, then you we got to take you to get your fucking head checked. And if you just came out and they were standing up like this, that means somebody else did it. I remember we fucked around with Ouija boards when I was a kid and I knew I knew who was the one who was pushing it. You can tell. You're supposed to put your fingers lightly on it. Somebody has to be the one pushing it. And I could always tell it was fucking Rick. Rick, if you think that I don't know you're fucking pushing this, you're an idiot. I can fucking tell that you're shoving this. <laughs> I remember my dad fucked with us when we were playing with the Ouija board. We were playing in... The downstairs bathroom, and there's a dog door right by there, which meant that he could hear us inside. And he was out back having a smoke. So moving the shit around with the Ouija board, and we played with them a bunch of times, right? One predicted that I would die when I was 18 from an EOB. So, okay, whatever that is. It's like, you lazy dick, can't you even spell something? What were you trying to spell, you fucking moron? But anyways, so we're playing with it. And then there's like, spirits, if you're there, give us a sign. And then all of a sudden there was a... <laughs> and we're like, ah, right? Because it's like, it's just my dad on the other side of the wall going, bang, bang, right? Like, he had a good laugh. He had a good laugh. It took me a split second to figure it out. But for real, for a second there, I was like, holy shit, the timing of that was crazy. I didn't actually believe though then that, like for real you want me to believe that there are these boards that will literally let you talk to the dead which would be one of the most incredible technologies that mankind had where it's like all the knowledge that was lost through the ages through all these books and people who existed before recorded fucking history oh we can access all their knowledge but the only people doing it are fat wiccan chicks really Really? Fat, unshaved Wiccan chicks doing their magic with the Ouija boards? And it's real, is it? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, because we definitely wouldn't use magical technology that lets us talk to the fucking dead. Also, if Ouija boards were real and you could talk to the dead, I'm guessing we'd have the opposite. of We're, we're in a world where people are becoming less religious. 
But if there's like proof that you exist afterwards, there's any kind of after existence, belief in religion would shoot right the fuck up. I know that because that is like, I've always thought about it. If there was ever genuine evidence of ghosts or anything like that, I would have to completely reevaluate my existence and it'd be like, okay, it's time to look into religions and higher powers and shit because there's a definite possibility for all of this now, right? She said the puck didn't move, but the lights flickered. And when they looked at the kitchen, all the silver were standing straight up like the pointed heads pointing skyward. That totally happened. And I absolutely would believe it. <laughs> uh, it's like, why are you lying to me? How are, like, how would you even live your life after that? Like, let me get this straight. An emissary of the fucking underworld or something literally manipulated the silverware in your home. And you're just living a normal, comfortable life. You're not playing around with fucking Ouija boards or other things or terrified of spectral domination or anything. You're just living your life as normal now. How? 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 How the fuck do you believe that happened and it doesn't consume every waking moment of your life? How would it not? How would it not? A transcendent event like that? Bitch, you're a liar. That's what I would have said. You fucking lie. <laughs> Master says it was backwards. Age 81 from a bow. Oh my God. Bow Falcon, I'm on to you. I'm on to you, buddy. <laughs> Al Super Chat says channeling money to perp because chi can't reach. That's the good chi I'm talking about right there. That's the good flow of energy. The good cheddar. Thanks, brother. <laughs> the chi isn't working because it's not real. Bingo. Troy, you've heard about a boner ghost. I don't need to know what it is you think about when you stick your thumb in your butt in the bathroom or whatever it is, whatever you want to call it, to just be able to accept your own freakiness. But there's no, there's no dong ghosts, bro. It's not a thing. It's not a thing. Watch near-death experiences. It's all real. No, it's not, Jess. No, it's not. Your fucking brain goes all crazy when you're dying because you're fucking dying. It's not a conduit to some other fucking world. Oh, they all, they all see white light. Yeah, it's your brain shutting down, dipshit. Not a fucking portal. It makes zero sense. It makes zero sense to believe in this nonsense. Like, no sense at all. No sense at all. And speaking of no sense at all, it's Maz. What up, Maz, you drunken hooker? Why are you congratulating Maz on people winning the Stanley Cup? She's not on the team, guys. She doesn't... Maz isn't on a fucking hockey team, let alone part of the fucking NHL. Why are you congratulating her? What is the matter with you? What is the matter with you? Uh. What? Doomblade? It did fuck her up? Like she hated telling you the story? The only reason she told you because you were watching paranormal activity movies? She told you not to fuck with it? Oh my god! It would be so hard not to condescendingly laugh at your own mother's ridiculous fear. It's like, I can't take you being afraid of Ouija boards seriously. Like, my mom is an overthinker and an over-worrier, but she worries about real-world stuff happening, and so she'll say these things to me, and I'll just be like, oh, okay, mom. You know what I mean? Because it's just like, the situation you're outlining could theoretically happen in reality, but it's just such a slim chance and so absurd that you seem ridiculous right now. But if she was telling me about spectral fears i'd be like mom you're a fucking crackhead i didn't know you smoked crack but holy fucking shit ghosts ain't real there's no demons that are gonna fuck with you through a ouija board we can't wait to mess you up but we can only do it if you touch it two pieces of wood what there's real strict rules about demons and spirits and stuff and we can only do it if you're like i'm touching two pieces of wood together Oh, but you also have to say spirit. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Mm. 
Maz, they'd kick you out. They don't need no drunk skags in the <laughs> in the team locker. No master, you're gonna help Jess co-create the portal. No, you guys don't, don't, don't end your lives together. All right, life is kind of worth living. Life is sort of sometimes a bit worth living, just a little bit, just a little bit, not that much, but just a bit, just a bit. Troy monks make fire with tin foil and cheese. Seen tit? Okay, sure. Sure, why not? Why not? That's that's absolutely, absolutely. Here, I got some tin foil and I just infused it with my chi and it's on fire. That totally happens. That's a hundred percent a real thing, and you should believe that. Why not? It'd be cool if there was crazy stuff like that, but it would also be terrifying. But unfortunately, you've just got to live in a mundane, actual world without any of this fucking made-up nonsense. No, bro, I got powers like a fucking airbender. And yet none of these people can stand up to any of the skeptics who are just like, all right, here are the controlled conditions under which to exert your powers. Oh, I can't feel the energy right now. Oh wow, isn't that convenient? Yeah, this isn't this isn't a good place to do it. Yeah, I guess not, because you're surrounded by people who don't fucking believe it, right? And who actually have gone, oh okay, do it under these conditions. Well no, like you gotta let me have access to the place first and you can't inspect nothing and don't look under the table because there's a dude I mean, don't look under the table, it fucks up my powers. <laughs> Jess, you think you're living in that movie, The Men Who Stare at Goats? Yeah, I'll never be able to. I'll never be able to understand people who believe in like the actual fucking supernatural, especially ones that feel like they've seen it in real life. It's too fucking absurd. It's it's too it's too absurd. Bro, a guy on YouTube told me how to use my magical powers. It's like, cool, bro. Have fun. Have fun. If you want to play make-believe, what the hell do I care, right? Pierce, try living with someone that believes that stuff. I couldn't. I could, I've been kicked out of people's homes for fucking laughing at them over ghost stuff. Like, like uh, this one chick got really upset because she believes in ghosts and I started fucking laughing, right? And I was just like, what? That's fucking stupid. And then she got really angry and her fucking boyfriend got really angry because she was upset and just, get out of here! And I'm just like, all right, I'm definitely going to. You're irrationally angry right now. And also, you're hella dumb, honey. You believe in ghosts. And you might have a sweet rack, but you don't got a sweet mind. I can't be with dumb ladies. And if you believe in ghosts and magic and stuff, you're not a smart person. Right? That's not how it works. That's not how it works. Because you're making some real big fucking leaps. Yeah, magic powers are real. And we got wooden boards that you can actually... All these different devices and crystals and stuff. And it's like, well, how come none of this is ever used on any real scale? No, man, I know it's real. I know it's real. No, it's not. There's no reason mankind would ignore useful technology like that. It just wouldn't happen. Nobody's going, oh, magic, but eh, I just won't use it. You know what I mean? Like, it's so dumb. It's so dumb. Jess, I got news for you. Watching YouTube videos and reading random accounts online isn't research. 
you are just reinforcing your own ridiculous bias. See, you've already decided that this shit is real and exists. And you're just like, it's obvious. It's obvious and you just got to do research. No, there, there, is, there is no research you can do on ghosts. They don't fucking exist, bro. The same thing with magic. You just got to get more educated on the subject. That's like, <laughs> that doesn't work. <laughs> it's so goofy. It's so goofy. Maz, no, they don't. No, they don't. Ghosts don't exist. If ghosts existed and they could fucking affect the real world in any way, they could just pick up a stick and carve shit in the dirt explaining stuff to you no they exist but they can only sound like a fart in the hallway at night or like a creak or something or they move a book but it was actually just me moving it and i forgot but like they can only do things in unprovable ways that don't affect anything but they're also real and matter and no no ghosts aren't real it's not a real thing it's not a real thing <laughs> We'd have all kinds of weird and probably gross technology based on using people's ghosts. Hey, you can burn four ghosts to keep your fucking house warm all winter. And it's like, aren't those people's souls? Guy, do you, have you seen the cost of fucking heat in your home lately? Fuck it, get me four orphan souls. I'm going to fire them into the soul burner. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> some the ghost hunters tv show used to be pretty good about debunking ghosts i think i've seen some clips from that where it's basically like my daughter died and then my tv turned on and it's like turns out he sat on the remote you know <laughs> like Carly's parents believe in ghosts, which is fucking hilarious to me. It's fucking crazy. It's just, it's just crazy. <laughs> Bowser. I know ghosts are real because I lost my virginity to a ghost of my uncle when I was 13. I believe it. It definitely wasn't you in the fucking shower with a shampoo bottle experiencing a new a new level of being. That was your uncle. My uncle has a dong that feels exactly like pert shampoo. <laughs> Sorry, you know what? I shouldn't mock your experience. Guys, I've been converted. Up until now, I didn't believe ghosts were real. But I didn't know that they were molester ghosts, right? Like... Getting a spectral hand job while a ghost dude sticks his ghost wrist up your butt with his ghost watch on it. And you're like, I can really feel the Swiss movement internally. Tick tock, let go of my cock. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Doomblade, you'd pay a lot of money for me to go to the Zach Baggins Paranormal Museum. It holds Robert the Doll and the Dybbuk Box. I have no idea what the hell those are. But like, because I don't believe in any of this shit, I feel like you would be sending me to a place to be like, check it out. There's a rocking horse. Okay. Here's a doll. Okay. Here's a door and a door frame. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, whatever the story. And then the doll showed up in this room. And then the doll showed up in this room. And then the doll showed up in this room. And it killed everybody in the family and burnt the house down. Oh. Or. Or. A murderer killed those people. And burnt the house down to hide his crimes. What's more likely? It's got to be the doll, bro. Like, because, like, people have told stories about it. And when they come into the room, they go, I'm scared. And that's all I need. Oh, well, I'm a believer then. Sure, yeah. Dolls can kill people. Totally happens. Every once in a while, a demon just animates something. And it's like, yeah, I killed three people and burnt their house down. Now back to Lucifer to be like, bro, I had a killer weekend. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
<laughs> Maz, <laughs> Maz, you, I feel breath on the back of my neck, and the fans are turning themselves on. Sure they are. Sure they are, right? And even on the off chance that a fan did turn itself on, that's just a faulty piece of like electronics or whatever, right? That's just a faulty appliance. Not a, there's a logical, hmm, I wonder if this cheap fan broke or if a ghost came by and turned it on. I wonder if the people who made this cheap garbage in China did a shoddy job or a ghost came by and was just like, I'm going to turn this fan on. Because that's what I'd do if I was a ghost. Oh, I want my family to know that I'm here and I still love them. And so instead of picking up one of the many pens around their house and writing, Hi, it's me from the fucking spirit world. Here is this and here's an actual note. I love you guys. I think what I'll do, I think what I'll do is I'll fucking open the blinds one tenth of a fucking degree when nobody's around. Whoa! Wow! Wow! <laughs> it's a ghost that turned the fan on come the fuck on like how do you believe this shit how do you believe it the whole like saying lots of people believe it people are fucking stupid how can you believe this shit without evidence it just makes you dumb it just makes you dumb right there's lots of dummies in the world and guess what the further back you go the more ignorant people were People thought thunder was the gods fucking banging and stuff, right? They used to think that you could sacrifice a goat to make sure the sun would come the fuck up. And these are the people you're going to cite? We haven't been sacrificing goats. Why is the sun coming up, man? Do you have any people believe that? It's got to be real. It's got to be real. Actually, it's probably the goats' ghosts that are turning on the fans because they don't understand human technology. So they're just walking around bumping their ghost horns against stuff. Now your fan's on. <laughs> Habanero! This is nostalgic. The very first stream of mine that you watched was me laughing about ghosts. Yeah, you did. That's right. You're like, you'll inevitably meet a ghost. I forgot all about that bullshit. Ghosts are nonsense. Uh. Jess, your dishwasher turned on by itself. You just assumed it was cats because this house doesn't seem haunted. If you could just expand your fucking logic there to everything, you'd get it. You'd get it. Nothing's haunted. There's no such thing as a haunted anything. Calling something haunted is what either dummies do or scammers do to take money from dummies. Oh, it's a haunted staff. My grandmother died when she was holding the staff. And wouldn't you know it, when you put it near a bag of potatoes, some of them grow eyes. What? Oh my God. Grandmama's curse of potato eyeification. And it's like, those fucking potatoes would grow eyes without the fucking cane being near it. But hey, whatever. Give me two grand for it, dick face. Jess, you sacrificed a goat and immediately won a scratch off ticket. Well, if you're not spending enough money on the scratch-off tickets, that's a losing proposition. If you win on a $5 scratch card, but it costs, I don't know, 600 bucks to get a goat, then you're down $5.95. But, I mean, if you can get more money than the goat, right, then you've just got the infinite money hack right there. As many goats as you can get, get the most expensive lottery tickets, there you go. There you go. Spend the night at a haunted house in Louisiana. Bet you'd be screaming by morning at all the voodoo that happens there. No, Maz, ghosts don't scare me because they're not real. So you could put me in the creakiest house with banging shutters and stuff. And I wouldn't be like, oh God, the ghosts are coming. I'd just be like, oh, this fucking sucks. I'm such a light sleeper. I wish this stupid house didn't have old fixtures on it. That's it. That's it. I can't be scared by haunted houses because that's there's no such thing. I can point to a house and go, that's a Snarfle Barf house. What? No, it's not. That's not a thing. You'd be terrified if you spend one night in the Snarfle Barf, bro. Uh, 
That's what you sound like, just so you know. You wouldn't be able to handle one of the snarfle barf houses down in Oregon. You'd be crying for milk by 2 a.m. Uh-huh. Yup. Just seeing a ghost convinces most people. Oh, here's the thing. Nobody's ever seen a ghost. Nobody's ever seen a ghost. That's never happened. There are people who hallucinate and make shit up. And I know how that happens. Because you can wake up in the middle of the night and think you're seeing something. Like if I was a fucking moron, I too would believe in ghosts. Because I've woken up in the middle of the night and seen my fucking headphones go like this. And then fucking snake up the wall like they were alive, like a two-headed serpent. It went right up the wall. And you know what I said? Wow, it's crazy that my brain produced that non-actual thing. At no point did I go, oh my God, a ghost grabbed my headphones and slid them up the wall. Because that's what a fucking moron would think. That's, that's dumb. That's dumb. The answer is you can't trust your perceptions, right? 100%. That's the reality. That's the sad truth. Human minds are fallible, not fucking ghosts. Fucking ghosts. What's more likely? That your dumb monkey brain is fucked or that there are actual ghosts? The answer is your dumb monkey brain is fucked. It's called hallucinations. It's called fucking dreams. It ain't called reality. Doomblade, your mom took a photo of a ghost? Wow! Guess what? There's a fucking photo of me as a kid holding a fucking ball of light in my hand. Just randomly. I had my hand out because there was just some random little thing I was showing my parents that wasn't reflective in any way. And there was a big ball of white light. But guess what? I was just like, oh, there's a defect in the actual fucking like photo materials or whatever. There's no, wow, that must be a fucking spirit. Why would you think that? It's in the photo. Wow, and the photos can never get fucked up in any way? No. They're a perfect capture of the real world and the supernatural world. So I definitely believe photos of ghosts. Like 100%. You know? Milbass says, if people fully believe, why do most people go to the bottom of the media barrel with their stories on? If ghosts were real, you'd hear about it all the fucking time. They'd be like, we got another problem with ghosts. You know, like, this is an issue. They wouldn't all be friendly. They'd be like, no, but like, shut up. <laughs> yeah, Zircon says, violent acts committed by ghosts. Zero. By people, infinite amounts. What are people scared of? Ghosts. They're scared of the unknown. Like, the thing is, people have to knock on your door before they can watch you take a dump. But ghosts don't. They can fly right up and stare at you. They could stick their head in the bowl and look at your butthole as you're squeezing one out, right? Like, that's why ghosts are scary. Because they can violate your innermost sanctum. Hey, Nathan! Nathan Super Chat says, Seeing a ghost seems more likely than seeing the Oilers win the cup at this point. Both are the result of dumb monkey brains. Take that! You know what? Cinder's, Cinder's gonna be pissed when he hears that, Nathan. Being Lord of the Board, that is for real. Uh. <laughs> Did no one learn from Scooby-Doo? That's funny. All right, Nathan. Lord in that board, big boy. Bowser says, I've never wanted to be a ghost more. See, your ghost uncle really messed you up, buddy. <laughs> God, man, you're so ridiculous. Some ghosts are aggressive. Depends on the type. Depends if they're a demon or a spirit. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You and Jess should form like a, like a club. You should form a club and share your very real beliefs because I guess you're right I just don't know the classifications of ghosts and their predilections so I'll have to rely on your consummate knowledge on the subject 
<laughs> Clayton's like, demons aren't ghosts, Maz. Clayton, are you really getting engaged with this shit? That's on you, man. That's on you. I'm using my cheap powers to move myself away from that madness. Yeah, man. If there were ghosts, that'd be horrifying. You could just be stuck in some unending, crappy apparition version of yourself. Woo! Yay! I go on forever, trapped away from the joys of my life. Guess I'll go turn on a fan. <laughs> Remember how awesome it felt to finger a fan button? I can't wait to do some ghost fingering, son. Don't even tell me I'm not going to turn on that fan. I'm going to turn it on to max. Maximum ghoster drive. <laughs> God, man. That chick was so mad when I made fun of her for believing in ghosts. I, was make, I wasn't making fun of her specifically. I was we, The ghost show came on, and I was like, how fucking dumb do you have to be to believe in ghosts, right? Like, how fucking stupid. And then it turns out that she believed in ghosts and got really mad about it. And I was just like, really? Like... <laughs> I was younger then. I had less tact in the situation, right? Carly brought over a chick who almost drowned. And she said that the fucking, the ghost of her grandmother saved her by pushing the water out of her lungs. And I'm like, no, that didn't happen. You just cough the water up like everybody does when they come out of the pool. Your fucking dead grandma's not hanging around you all the time in case you fall in a pool to push water out. You, that's fucking stupid. That makes no sense. I probably shouldn't have said that because that she never hung out with Carly again. So it was, I probably, like, I think I might have finally reached the point where in everyday conversation with people, if they say ridiculous nonsense to me, like they believe that they have magical powers or that they believe in ghosts, I can just politely let them have those beliefs, shoot Carly a look like, and then we'll, we will laugh at them afterwards. Do you know what I mean? It's like, I don't gain anything. I don't gain anything from telling these people. Like, you want to believe your grandma fucking saved you? Fine, if it makes you fucking happy. That sounds like crap. You think your grandma's hanging around all the time? You know? You think your grandma's there watching when you check to see if you have your fucking period and stuff? You know? Right? Or when you're crying about how fat and lonely you are? Do you think your grandma's watching you during all that shit too? Like, doesn't that suck for her? She had a life and now she's just doomed to watch you? Was Were her relatives watching her, but now she's dead, so now they all got to watch you too? And you're not even doing anything to entertain them, you know? They're just here to bay watch me, bro. <laughs> Mess. Maz says, most ghosts just like to do pranks and are mostly harmless. Just want to know they're there. It's amazing that you, it's amazing you have this knowledge. Considering, like, ghosts have never directly sent an emissary or any real way of communicating with people. So it's pretty impressive that you've developed this level of knowledge. Jess will be pleased with your research. They changed calling exorcists to deliverance ministers. Yeah, well, I mean, obviously, exorcists, exorcists have a stigma along with it because it's a ridiculous concept. I'm going to go and remove demons from people. Oh, there aren't demons in people. Yes, there are. And if I flick water at them and read from a book, they'll go away. Uh-huh. Yup. Oh, stigmata. The power of Jesus compels you. Open up. Let me spit in your mouth. <sighs> It's his blessed spit. In his name, I spit unto thee, demon. Be gone hence. <laughs> like. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. That shit's hilarious. Oh, yeah. Demons are real. Okay. Why don't we have, like, any real basis of knowledge about it? Well, like, you know. You know. Only, like, the church and exorcisms and stuff. And the... The government and science doesn't want to study it because they can't handle the truth. 
So like, yeah, demons are real, but you got to believe what we believe. We can't actually prove it. You just got to be like, look, we were all there. And I saw it happen. I saw it happen. Like there's fucking four demons down here. You guys are just going to have to take my word for it. Right? They're massaging my feet. Because guess what? Demons are real. And I made a deal with them. You're my feet demon. Suck my toes, you fucking losers. So. <laughs> Juggle them. Cat's out of the bag. I got four demons, son. Jess, yup. That's right. That's right. There is no underlying order or reason specifically for the universe to exist. And this all just happened. Which makes it a hell of a lot better than the concept that somebody's like, this is how it's supposed to be and I made it this way. And it's like, you did a real shit job, man. Why are babies being born and flies allowed to eat their eyes and stuff? You know, like, that shit's wild. That shit's wild. That's a weird email. I think that's a uh, a glitch email because it's like or a scam email. I don't know what's going on there. Anyways, anyways, I'll look into that and figure out what the hell is this reading. I'm like, what is this saying? Having my uh, email sent directly to my watch is convenient, but it can also be distracting. Break stop. You logged into the stream once and there was a very real devil instead of me. It was Halloween. Sometimes I let the demons run the streams. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for coming and hanging out, my friends. It has been a fun time. We will reconvene again soon. Goodbye for now. I go into the waters.